In early 1993, when I was just a year and a half old in the legal profession, I appeared in a very important case in the Delhi High Court. I was representing a large nationalized bank against a VVIP defaulter. And something really strange happened in the courtroom. The defaulter showed no respect for the court proceedings and chose not to appear despite half a dozen directions and opportunities to appear before the court in person. He was a VIP, so perhaps he thought uh, that he was above the law. On that day, I remember citing several Supreme Court and High Court judgments to ensure the personal presence of the defaulter by way of warrants. And I actually succeeded when the Honorable Judge, on being convinced, passed a detailed order, a verbal order, a dictation in an open court, issuing bailable warrants against the said VIP to secure his personal presence before the court. The client celebrated and so did I as a young lawyer. The tragic part is that when I received the order in hand the next day, it said nothing about what was pronounced in the court. A two-liner order simply stating the defaulter is given the last and final opportunity to appear on the next date. And, and the next date was three months henceforth. No mention about warrants. I took up the matter with the judge in his personal chamber despite being very young myself. I was charged up. He gave me an audience and told me that he had reapplied his mind and he had the prerogative to change the order before it was actually signed by him. And the rest is history. Not getting into too much details, the lesson I got and which I want all of you law students and young lawyers who wish to embrace litigation to remember is that, that when you are handling legal briefs and cases, do not get carried away and also not get too personal or sensitive or emotional about the outcome of the professional matters. Just do your best for the client. Some days are good and some days are not too good. But there is no such thing like a bad day. Thank you.